All right, guys, it's Friday, which of course means it's time for our one-to-one -one time. Or as someone suggests I call it from now on, Frank Fridays. Since we're having a Frank discussion, yeah, I'm not so sure about that name. Let me know what you think. Anyway, before we get into today's topic, which is all about when we know it's the right time to jump into a live account with our trading, before we get into that, I just wanna take two minutes of your time to ask your opinion on something and to briefly explain the direction of content in the future on this channel. So it's just gonna take two ticks, but I understand if you wanna skip forward, that's fine, but I think this will benefit you and it will help me. So basically with this channel, I think sometimes people don't appreciate how tricky it is to be running it. And I don't mean in terms of workload, like the workload's fine, as are the hate comments and all of that kind of stuff. I can deal with all of that. The thing that makes it tricky is managing people's expectations. Everyone has different wants, needs, things they expect in the content, and we can't please everyone. So if you think we've got 20,000 subscribers, Fair enough, only a small percentage are probably active enough that they watch our videos regularly. But from those, you've got some people that are into investing, some people that are into trading, some people that want to see technical analysis, some that want to see fundamental analysis, some that want to see like money management, risk, position sizing. You can't please everyone, but we've tried to. So over the 300 videos or whatever we've got at this point on the channel, we've tried to cover all of the bases. And I think we have done a good job of that. Usually when someone requests something, it's already out there on the channel, they just haven't found it yet. But with new content, we're trying to hit new subjects we haven't covered before. Go and branch out and bring you different, fresh perspectives from different areas. So it's something that's really adding like a new angle to your trading or your investing or whatever, just your knowledge in general. But of course, this makes some people unhappy because they want to see certain things. But as I said, you can't please everyone. We're trying our best to introduce things that people have requested, such as live trades, investments, that kind of thing. But the problem is when you release those videos, people do request them and then clearly don't watch them because the view counts end up being low because probably the realization is that once it's there, it's actually boring to watch someone trade anyway. But we are gonna be bringing it out. In fact, I was talking to Lorenzo this morning who you may have seen on this channel before in one of our videos. And as you know, he helps me with like the macroeconomic stuff. So the longer term investments. And we were talking about how there are some really good opportunities coming. There's a lot of things that are inflated at the moment and some really good ways to invest in certain situations that we wanna talk you through, educate you about why we're taking that particular investment decision, that particular instrument for that investment decision, why it's that time horizon, all of that stuff, like so you really understand what's going into that overall portfolio decision or whatever. And I will be showing you live trades as well. There's some great opportunities there at the moment over the medium to long term, as well as the short term as always. But right now with Aussie dollar, Japanese yen, Canadian dollar, there's some great opportunities out there. So I can pick up on some of that as well. But what I wanna start doing is I wanna start making use of a new feature that YouTube has, which we've got early access to for whatever reason, and it's the community tab. So if you go on our channel, you'll see a community tab, and if you're subscribed, you'll see the things in your subscription feed as well. And basically this allows us to communicate with you more in text posts and polls and that kind of thing. You may have seen a poll the other day when we were testing it out, asking you about which currency pair you're focusing on. So what we want to start doing is choosing which series of videos we're going to be putting out and put them on there as a poll. So whatever the consensus is, that's the kind of videos we'll start putting out. Obviously, sometimes we'll put out videos that we want to put out ourselves anyway. In fact, most of the time we will because, hey, it's our channel, but there will be videos where we can decide by consensus. So that's gonna be an amazing thing for this channel is it will go in a direction that the audience wants it to. So the next thing is something I need your opinion on. So these videos each Friday were meant to give you a chance to have an insight like into what it's really like trading or learning to trade or whatever. It's for me to talk from the heart about my own experiences and to give you like an insight into how I progressed, how I dealt with certain situations. And so it's kind of like a mentoring session in a way. So we thought we'd take that a step further, that actually maybe we can start to show you some of my day-to-day -day life and the team as well, like show you the office, show you behind the scenes, show you the process of making an investment decision, a trading decision, what goes on in the trading session, behind the scenes of making the videos, basically vlogging in the office. So I want to know if this is something you're interested in or if you'd prefer videos like this one still. Uh, I think it'll be quite insightful, but we only wanna do it if people will watch it because the chances are we'll probably have to hire another videographer and that means money, we have to pay money for it. So if no one's gonna watch it or if you're not interested, there's no point doing that. So let me know if it's something you'd like to see. And if it is something you'd like to see and there's vlogs that you're already watching, please give me links below to give me an example of the ones that you enjoy. Because I know there's vloggers out there, but I've seen like teeny bopper ones and I can't see us producing a vlog in the same style as a teeny bopper. It's gonna be something more serious and useful and insightful for you. So it'd be good to see what you're using already or what you enjoy watching so we 
know what people like. But anyway, with all of that out of the way, let's get into today's topic. And I think it's gonna be quite a quick one really, which I was quite happy to tag on that update at the start. So basically like what I see is that people are either rushing in too quickly to go in a live account or they're not understanding when they need to go into a live account or not or they just have all these questions. So I was hoping that we can maybe answer some of those today. I know that I've spoken about it before and it's probably something I'll speak about again in the future but I thought right now it's important because it's something that's coming up quite often. So I think when you're learning to trade you should always be using a demo account. I know lots of people say, but you don't know what the pressure is like or like the psychological side of things unless you use a live account. But that's fine because like I've said in videos before, I think when you're learning to trade, your aim is not to be making profits on your demo account. Your aim is to be learning to trade. You're meant to be progressing as a trader. So you're meant to be focusing on certain areas of your trading, understanding things, testing things, optimizing and just getting better without worrying about the results. Then of course there comes a point when you're still on a demo account but you want to then actually make sure that you're making profit, you're starting to be consistent before you then jump to a live account. And then when you're on a live account you want to start off slow with that small amounts of capital so you can understand the psychological pressure without it ruining your bank account and then move on to proper trading. But you have to go through this progression because if you start off straight away with a live account trying to get that psychological pressure all you're going to be doing is worrying about whether you close your trades too early and all this kind of stuff and all that psychological pressure will stunt your progress because you're no longer focusing on whether you're trading well or not, you're focusing on whether you're going to make money or lose money. So yes, there's psychological pressure that you have to learn to deal with, but you've got to master your craft first. So don't rush into these things. And I say this, of course, from experience, because the way that I learned was I went straight in with real money and I burnt through lots of accounts and it's a stupid way to do it. And I think it probably cost me about two or three years, probably about two years that I, I didn't necessarily need as extra development time. I could have done things a lot quicker if I'd been more structured in how I was trying to progress. Because in my mind, I thought like, let's say I deposit a thousand pounds for argument's sake. Now, if that thousand pounds is lost, I burn out the account. I can deposit another thousand and another and another. Let's say I do like 10 deposits of a thousand pounds and lose it each time then in my mind I was like, but that's okay because when I am profitable from those experiences, I'll make more than that 10,000 anyway. So it's just a, a small investment short term for a longer term gain. And yes, it did end up being that way, but it cost me probably an extra two years, like I said, because I was thinking in terms of monetary value, what could be won or lost and the extra pressure that you go under and that kind of thing. But the thing I wasn't considering was how it holds back your progress because you're focusing on the completely wrong things. If you go straight in with a live account, of course you're gonna feel the pressure of understanding you've got to cut your losses like early and let your winners run. Because if you're on a demo account, you've got the freedom of knowing it's not real money. But likewise, like that stress is going to mean that you don't have like the relaxed situation where you can think through your decisions properly and make it second nature before you then add the pressure. It's got to be like muscle memory almost where it's like you know what you need to do without even having to think about it. So when the pressure is added, of course, you're going to make mistakes and feel the tension, but at least you know what you're doing. So what I think is that people need to spend some time on a demo account not caring about what they're doing. It doesn't matter what they're doing, whether they win, lose, doesn't matter as long as they've got a structured way of learning using that demo account with all the things we've discussed in the past. Then after that point when you're entirely comfortable with all the aspects of trading, three to six months on a demo account, just trying to be consistent. If you can hit that, if you can be consistent, three to six months on a live account, but small amount of capital, seeing if you could be consistent with that in a real live situation. And if all of that goes well, and if it doesn't go well, by the way, go back a stage, no problem going backwards. Don't always think you've got to keep progressing. Sometimes it's good to take a step back before you move forwards again to reach, like to overcome a plateau. But after that three to six months on low amount of capital, switch to a, an account with the amount of capital you intended from the start. Now, some people will say that takes too long, it's not necessary. Well, I think it is necessary unless you want to waste a lot of unnecessary time, right? It sounds like a lot of time, but it's a lot less than it would be if you did it the other way. And I feel like I wasted so much time. A lot of people say to me like, what would you change if you could go back and do things differently? What would you read? What would you study? I wouldn't read or study anything different, but what I would do is understand the importance of developing in the right way. I think that I wasted so much time. I had so many mistakes early on in my trading career that I've had to iron out over time that would have been dealt with right from the start. Like you want to try and deal with problems right from the start rather than having to wait later on where you have to like unwire what you've already learned and rewire something else. It's much more difficult to get rid of bad habits than it is to like not pick them up at the start. So if I could go back and change things, that's the way that I would do things. And if you're sitting there thinking, 
I'm not sure if I should go live yet or not, then I think that probably the chances are you're not ready to go live. And of course, there'll be people in the comments that say, no, this is not true. You should try trading with a live account as soon as possible. But don't run before you can walk. Like, why rush things? It's just not necessary. And also, like, when I see people who have been profitable on a demo account and they're going live after three months and they're saying, I've made profit already, like, fair enough. Like, maybe that will continue. And I really hope for your sake it does. But you've got to think of it this way. If you have a losing system or you're a losing trader, you can still have profitable runs in there just as probability. If you're a profitable trader, you can also have losing runs. So you need a bigger sample size to really be able to tell and you need to do it in a structured way that actually makes sense that's gonna help you develop in the right way. But obviously this is just my opinion and some people just want to learn with real money. They feel like they're wasting their time even if they're gonna make losses if they're not using real money. They like to feel some skin in the game just to actually be dedicated to what they're doing. And if that's you then fine. Like I'd be a hypocrite if I said don't do that at all because that's how I learn after all. I just know now in hindsight that I just wish I could have gone back and done things differently. Obviously things worked out quite well in the end but Back then I could have really avoided some really stressful periods of my life, some really depressing moments of my trading if I'd done things in a different way, more structured. Thinking of it like as if you're learning anything else. Anyway guys, we're gonna leave that there. If you've got any questions, leave them below. Let me know your opinions of what we spoke about a minute ago. Let me know what topics you want me to cover in other videos. And I'm sorry if you think this one was a bit too short on that topic, but hey, why overcomplicate something that doesn't need to be overcomplicated? Plus, I'm exhausted from this week. I'm going to go and have a beer now. Have a great weekend. Take care, guys. Bye-bye. <laughs>